Hey everybody, welcome back to some more unboxing videos. Today I have a classic USB gamepad. Now, as you probably noticed already, that there hasn't been iconic moments this week. There might not be any more for the upcoming weeks because I have some new other unboxing videos that I want to get through. Some of them are mainly Scooby Doo, but I want to get started right in the back with the controller because this one is so I can play my. Super Nintendo emulators with an actual Super Nintendo controller or a USB version of it. But this one has a turbo button so I don't have to keep pressing the, uh, the A buttons and all that just to fire, I can just hold it in. Um, this one cost me $10.99. I bought two of them and I read through the reviews and I even looked on YouTube tutorials and they reckon that this is a really good um, controller to use for PC has eight buttons I have used this with my Raspberry Pi and it does work um, so I can actually take my Raspberry Pi on the go and actually play Super Nintendo games with a sort of like Super Nintendo controller which is really awesome when you open up the package and you, all you get is a manual which I don't think they do in English bit but you don't really need a manual all you would do with the Raspberry Pi is to plug this in and it will straight away work. Same with your computer, if you're on Windows 10, it should update automatically to the drivers. I think it will do the same on Windows 7, um, so you don't have to worry about downloading drivers or nothing like that. So it should be all simple and ready to go. I haven't tested this on my PC yet, but I did test it on the Raspberry Pi and it does work, so if it's going to work on the Raspberry Pi, it is going to work on my PC. It's just that at the moment I've got the Raspberry Pi set up, so I don't really need my PC emulators running. So yeah, as you can see, this is the controller. You've got the B, A, Y and X buttons to start and select, and the D-pad. And then we have the L and R triggers, which is pretty good, or the bumpers as they were called back in the day. Um, how the turbo works is you've got to hold the turbo down and push the select red button. So B's for firing, you've got to hold turbo, select B, and every time you hold B it will be turbo. And then clear is to clear that set. So if you want to clear it and then change it to A, then change it to A. Clear, change it to Y, and so on and so on. It's pretty simple. The L and R buttons are very good. They feel like you're pushing an actual controller. Um, they sync very well with the game, so you don't have to worry about forcing them in or tapping because they ain't working. I did have an old Super Nintendo controller for USB for my Raspberry Pi, and the LNR buttons did not work, probably because it was only a 299 controller. So I went with a more expensive brand, and they seemed to work really fine. Um, but yeah, so I hope you guys have enjoyed this unboxing video. It was short and simple. I don't know why I got this because I didn't really need it, but I had it anyway. Yeah, so remember to comment, like, and subscribe. And when you do subscribe, make sure you turn post notifications to keep up to date when I post new and exciting videos each week. But I'll see you next time. But until then, you take care.